Apparently, Sylvester's brother, Joe, <laughs> you're the barbecue man. I'm not the tallest guy. But Apparently, he's a good blank taster. <laughs> so we're going to test him with something. He's just calibrating his palate now. <laughs> <laughs> Your final guess on the mystery wine. I think it's Cabernet Sauvignon. <laughs> Probably of Syrah or something. No, I don't know. Very light uh, Pinot Gris or Pinot Noir, maybe. I don't know. Pinot Noir? Yeah. It's a Pinot Noir. It's Pinot Noir. From England? Yes. There you are. From Essex. So you guys are finishing, finishing on a skin contact. Hmm? Nice. Got I got something else. Yes, for the ones that have a sweet uh, tooth, oh. like I do. A little bit sweet one. Late harvest Shona from 2015. This is the, the dessert. Mm. Did you have a lot of grapes in 2015? A good amount. You, and you could leave them, you could leave them to ripen because it was good weather. Yeah, yeah, that's it. But uh, then we we don't produce as much sweet as we used to, and it's the, actually the last time that we did some sweet chana uh, because it's a pain in the ass to sell. It's so, just gone out of fashion, hasn't it? But we're going to make it fashionable. Yeah, we're going to like. Maybe we'll come back. We're going to show pictures of it, like when we're playing pool and like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like. Send a few bottles to some rappers. Nice, yeah. yeah, fashion. Fashion is always a circle, yeah, yeah. so maybe it will come back. Uh, we'll get action run But it's it's really interesting to make and to to drink. We'll, but we'll to get it, if we get it on Instagram, it might become more fashionable. Hopefully, yes. Yeah, we'll have to gram this. <laughs> So this one, we we brought it back. My, my father made it once in uh, 2011, I think. And uh, we wanted to make a red wine that is really different from the Cabernet that we make. It's uh, usually more um, rustic, uh, I'd say more gastronomic wine, yeah? yeah? So we wanted to make something more juicy, more... Uh, you don't want to say glue glue though. <laughs> I never say glue glue. If you want to glue glue it, uh, I, don't, I don't mind. And uh, yeah, so, so just a carbonic maceration of uh, Gros Noir and Gamay blended with a direct press of Gros de Gris. So it's a blend of basically a rosé and a red. So that's why it's so it's easy to so drink. so nice. It's fresh, uh, fresh fruit. The weather's and, quite hot today and this is just going down amazingly. Going down a bit too quick, I think. <coughs> Cheers. It is, huh? Mag <laughs> Magnums are tiny bottles. Mm. So that's it, really. And then the other grape is uh, Cab Franc. Yeah. Which I always think of as um, a bag of rocks hitting you in the face if it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. with your 2018, <laughs> it was quite a warm year, so you've got, you've got nice ripeness, and then you've still got the bag of rocks hitting you in the face and the spiciness. Exactly. So it's quite balanced. I think that's going to be good. Yeah, in 18 we were really lucky with the, the weather um, the whole year. And uh, during harvest it was still pretty warm. And we reached uh, a ripeness that we never had before. Because sometimes the Cab Francs can have this green sort of yeah. peppery, exactly. like, a, like a pepper vegetable. Pepper, yeah, and green beans. It can beans. be a bit strange for some people. Yeah. I love it, but some people think it's a bit weird. But if you get that ripeness. I understand. And you get the right site that can give you that, that mineralness as if, well. If you can choose between raspberry juice and pepper juice, <laughs> I mean, I understand. But, but if you can have raspberry juice with all of the structure and the, the ballsiness as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Then you're onto a winner. Mm, but I really like your 18, 18 cup front. Yeah, Still I, in the barrel. So yeah. 18 was a very good vintage. Let's hope 19 is a good one for you. 19 uh, is going to be good juice, hopefully, because we had a, an amazing year. But we had the frost uh, on the 4th of July, so we lost like 70% of everything. So less grapes. Yes. Shit. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>